There's a concept known as a parentification that happens to kids when they are put into adult roles that are not developmentally appropriate. And we see this happen across the spectrum. There are kids who grew up who were abandoned by their parents and had to raise their siblings and really take on roles. And then you also see on the other end of the spectrum, I think kids who maybe served as like a therapist for their parents, or they were told information that wasn't appropriate for a kid. And what we ultimately find with these kids is that they grow up too fast. They become kids that are like little adults, maybe called mature for their age, so responsible. And there's a lot of good qualities that can come from this. You might be really responsible, uh, really ambitious, task-oriented. It's not all bad. But the other side is that sometimes you miss out on a lot of key developmental milestones in childhood and things like play being carefree, being relaxed. And it can be very hard for those kids as adults to engage in those parts of their personality. Right. So what would be like the first steps to, to deal with that? If you are, if you can relate to that. I think first really getting clear on like, what do you like about yourself now that may have been a result of those things. So you might be really driven, really focused, ambitious. Like these are all things that you might like and and want to celebrate about yourself. And then looking at how was I negatively impacted by this? Where do I struggle? And that's when you can get clear on what do I need more of in my life? For a lot of parentified kids, it might be that they need more flexibility, more freedom, more play, more lightheartedness. And so that can involve like picking up a hobby, doing something just for fun, trying to just rest. Like some, some parentified kids have a lot of trouble even just like sitting down and watching TV, not taking care of everybody mm-hmm. in their life. Or I see a lot of adults now even saying like, you know what? I don't want to have children because I already raised my siblings or I already took care of my parents and allowing yourself to say like, that's okay if I don't want that life experience. Right. Right. Essentially it's, there, there's both like, like you can accept that there were good and bad that came out of that situation. What about like people who feel like bitter towards their parents or like, how do you heal? How do you, you know, it, it, it's, whether the parent is in your life or not, what are the things you help people through? It's normal to feel bitter about that, especially if you were put into situations that were really inappropriate or outside of your abilities as a kid. And it can be even more challenging when your parent doesn't recognize that. So the the first step I would say is like, bring this up with your parents if you can, and and at least give it an attempt and see how they respond. If you have an abusive parent or someone like that, I would of course only do this with a mediator in the context of therapy, but otherwise, you know, even telling your parents, like I was thinking about when I was growing up and like, this was pretty hard for me. There are going to be parents that are going to be dismissive and they might say, you know what? I was working so hard and you're lucky that you had a roof over your head. And in that case, you might say, you know what? My parents aren't ready to receive this information and I need to start healing this on my own. And so that's when I would go back to validating your perspective of like, I was a child. I was too young to handle the responsibilities that I was given. It was not my fault. And no child would have been able to handle or manage what I was being asked to manage because I just did not have the skills. I mean, what is your take on, do you have to talk to the parent or like, like versus like working with the person involved in your trauma versus working on it by yourself? Like whether it's like through forgiveness or anything like that, is there, is one way more preferred or healthier or is it just whatever works for you? I think it's personal preference and depends on the situation because if you have a parent who is completely unable to access any level of insight. They're emotionally immature. They're denying you, gaslighting you. Like you're at some point going to have to say, I'm going to heal this on my own because I don't want to continue this trend. There are people though, who, when they go to their parents, their parents are open, maybe a little bit open. They need a little bit of time to come around. And so I recommend when possible, 
to try to work with the parent. But if that's opening yourself up to more abuse, more disrespect, you of course have every right to say, this isn't healing for me. This is just more of the same. And now I'm going to start to go do this on my own.